Howdy ho, Cheerios. This is 10 better Discord plugins that help with your chat experience. Whether you chat through your keyboard or through your mouth orifice, these should help. Warning, better Discord is against Discord's terms of service. What does that mean? Discord doesn't like this, so don't send them screenshots of you using better Discord. Fortunately, the plugins that I show in this video are very low risk. It's not something that's going to instantly get you banned, but you do have a super small risk. Anyways, go to the first link in the description and you will see better Discord. Click on the big download button. So when you download better Discord, you will need to click on the installer to open it up. And you will see this license agreement, just accept it and don't read it. Click next, click install better Discord, then click next, then click on the Discord version that you have. Click install and let it install. And when better Discord installs, it should restart your Discord. If it doesn't, just close Discord using the task manager or just press X on it. It's that simple. And it should restart with a nice big menu like this saying better Discord. That is a very good sign that you installed better Discord. Now, the main thing we're looking for is we want to go into user settings and we want to look for this better Discord section here. If you do not have this, join my Discord server and look in the FAQ because I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to fix it if this didn't show up. Then all you need to do is click on plugins and you need to click on open plugins folder and it'll open up behind Discord and this is where you install your plugins. And how do we get plugins? Well, if you click on any one of the links in the description, you should get a page like this, any one of the plugin links, sorry. And all you need to do is you need to click the download button. Now it'll pop up with a warning saying this file can harm your computer. This file type can harm your computer, but the way that we're using these files is a-okay. You are completely fine. Click keep, then it should download. What you need to do is you need to open up your downloads folder. So I already have it open and you need to drag in the plugin that you want to use into the plugins folder. Now, when you drag over the plugin, you should have a pop-up saying, do you want to download a library plugin? If you accidentally clicked off of it, because it can happen, just like I did, all you need to do is enable the plugin, click on settings, then click download now, and it will install the plugin library. Now, once you click download now, you will see that a new plugin shows up, BDFDB. There are two main library plugins that Better Discord has that you will need to enable if your plugin requires it. So if you download a whole bunch of plugins and you notice that you have something called BDFDB or Zeri's plugin library, I'll have those text things on screen, then you need to enable those before you use any of your plugins because it requires those assets in the library plugins. Basically just turn it on and things will work. Now for our first plugin, we have badges everywhere. Now badges everywhere allows you to see badges, Discord badges, everywhere. Kind of self-explanatory, but there are a couple settings that you might want to go through. You can turn on and off the color of badges, and you can enable and disable different badges, and enable and disable where the badges show up. Basically, if you don't change any of the settings, this is how it looks. In chat, you'll be able to see people's badges, and you'll also be able to see their badges in the user list. It's a pretty nice tweak, and it allows you kind of to differentiate between different people. It's kind of nice. It's a little nerdy, but whatever. And the next plugin we have is Platform Indicators. Now you can enable and disable different settings about it in the settings. They're pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go through them. Mainly in the user list, you'll be able to see which platform everyone's on. So my moderator is on web and he's on do not disturb. My poggers member A is online on their desktop. It's kind of a little bit more details if you want. And it's nice to know if you kind of enjoy that stuff. And for our next plugin, we have hide disabled emojis. Now, if I look at my emojis right now, you see that I have a couple of animated emojis that I can't use. I have the oh so beautiful Fortnite emojis that I can't use because I don't have nitro. And I don't want to be tempted by nitro. So if you go into your user settings and enable the plugin and go back to your emoji picker, you'll notice that all those emojis that you can't use are gone. Now, mind you, this won't work with the free emojis plugin that I've shown in a different video because, you know, it just won't work. But this is great if you don't want to use that and you just kind of want your emoji picker to be nice and clean with actual useful stuff on it. And for our next plugin, we have Who Reacted. Now, there are a couple settings for Who Reacted, but they are very self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go over them, but you can customize this however you want. And the main thing is, is that if you look at any chats, you'll be able to see who actually reacted to each message. And this plugin's really nice if you just have a massive server and you want to see, like, who's reacting to your messages. And you can say, wow, look at this nerd reacting to his own post. Very upsetting, no text-to-speech. Oh, wait, that's me. Now, the next plugin we have is Blur NSFW, and you will see this click to update thing. You need to click on it, unfortunately, and it will update Blur NSFW. And if you enable it, what it will do is it will blur any image in an NSFW channel. So if I create one really quickly, NSFW, create channel, right click on it, edit channel, turn it into an NSFW channel, and I upload an image, so I continue. 
uh, let's just put a GIF, screw it, and we'll put some really fancy Nancy one of Rihanna. It'll blur it, so at least you get to see kind of what's going on before you hover over it, and mom gets very upset. So this is a nice plugin to have if you don't want to just click on it and be surprised. Whoa, that's a massive shaft. For next plugin, we have send large messages. Now, there is one setting I want to go over first, and it's try to split messages on new lines instead of spaces. Now, this might result in more messages, like it says, but it makes it more clean if you want to split up certain messages. So I'm going to enable it. Now, what this allows you to do is that if you go into any channel and you are typing a twit longer, you'll notice, goodness, I do not have enough characters to send this whole message. But if I press enter, what it will do is split up the message and send it one after another, which is fantastic. Now people can understand my master level thesis on why Dream cheated in Minecraft, even though I don't play Minecraft, nor do I care. And for our next plugin, we have remove blocked messages. Now, if you go onto any server and you decide to block someone in general chat, so maybe I don't like this Cole guy for some reason, I'm just being really mean today, and I click block, you'll notice that it says two blocked messages. Now, this is really annoying if you block a whole bunch of people. So, with this plugin, if you enable it, what it will do is it will delete all those blocked messages prompts, and it'll make your chat a whole lot cleaner. So, this is great if you have a server that you love to go on, but you have a couple of problematic members that you just don't want to talk to or even know about. And for our last plugin we have call time counter. Now there is a change log that's very useful. It says hello world and then plugin so you know exactly what you're getting into. But if you enable it you have a couple settings that you can go through as in zero settings of course. <laughs> but what it does is that if you join any server and you join their voice chat you will notice that you now have a time elapsed thing that shows you how much time you spent either wasting your life talking to cute friends of yours or just talking to yourself in an echo chamber on mute because you're crazy and insane. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. So let's say a specific plugin isn't tickling your fancy and you want to get rid of it. Well, you just press the big delete button. It's pretty self-explanatory. But let's say you don't want any of these plugins anymore. I don't want better Discord. I just, I just don't want to be banned anymore. Even though you probably won't even be banned by this, but nevertheless, some people want to be safe. All you need to do is first open your plugins folder because we want to at least get rid of the files and it'll pop with the plugins. All you need to do is just delete all of them and that will get rid of all of them which is nice, but we actually need to uninstall better Discord. So how do we do that? Well, all you need to do is open up your downloads folder, and when you go into your downloads folder, open up the better Discord installer. I know it's an installer, but it has an uninstall function. Click I accept the license agreement, uh, click on it three times and miss it, then click uninstall better Discord, click next, then click on the Discord version that you installed it to, then click on install. Discord will restart, and if you go into your settings, once it loads and takes 13 years, you will notice that I do not have better Discord in my settings anymore. If you do not have better Discord in your Discord settings, that means you do not have better Discord installed. It's that easy. Anyways, I'm having a staring contest with the sun. Hopefully I win. Please let me know if you're excited to hear about the results. I'll try to let you know on my Braille keyboard.